the law to leave has already been passed. The Withdrawal Act is through. But what we need is a leader who will say to the European Union, it is impossible to divide up the United Kingdom. It is impossible to agree to a situation where we have a perpetual customs union. It is impossible to pay £39 billion of taxpayers' money for a few promises, which was meant to be £39 billion for an implementation of a, a deal. And it is impossible for us to allow the continuing jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. But the problem is that the negotiations have given away on all the key points. Well, it's nothing to do with ambition of Brexiteers, it is about ambition for Brexit and the country. Leaving the European Union is the most fantastic opportunity for the United Kingdom. It means we can have the opportunity of setting lower tariffs, cheaper food, clothing and footwear, helping the least well off in our society the most. This opportunity is being thrown away. If you look at the deal, our tariffs will be set by the European Union and it would be illegal for us to offer lower tariffs. This is not Brexit. This is a failure of government policy. It needs to be rejected. This is nothing to do with personal ambition. The Conservative Party is lucky to be full of talent and there are many, many people. You, you asked me that on the stairs coming down. And we, uh, OK, well, who do you want me to start with? You've got Boris Johnson and David Davis and you've got Dominic Raab and Esther McVeigh. You've got Penny Morden. You have streams of talent within the Conservative Party. Uh, who would be very capable of support of leading a proper Brexit. I'll get that little piece of dandruff.